How's it going? Thanks for joining. Of course. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. I was really looking forward to this. Oh, thanks. And I uh, I saw Blink twice a couple of days ago. I thought it was great. So congrats on that. Thank you. Yeah, we're pretty excited about it. Yeah, as you should be. I mean, yeah, I can't wait for everyone else to see it. And yeah. Your character, Tom, is a lot of fun. I wore this shirt sort of in I feel like <laughs> this is the kind of shirt he would be wearing. Um, yeah, definitely. <laughs> all I need is the sunglasses, you know. I know. Yeah, I got to figure out where those were because I think they were or where those went because I think there was only one pair of those we had out on set in the jungle. <laughs> I hope Zoe got them or something. <laughs> it's like the lighter, you know, it's sacred. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have a lot of those though. They had big bowls of them at the, uh, at the premiere after party. So hopefully oh, really? those be spreading across uh, the nation. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Did you uh, pick the glasses? Your, did you have any input on the glasses or did they, you just show up and they're like, here, this is what you got. That was Zoe's idea. I think she like we had this <clears throat> collection of, you know, the ukulele and some other, you know, accessories and everything when we were doing camera tests out at the location. And yeah. Zoe put those on me for this uh, one shot we did for the camera test. And she's like, that's it. That's yeah. the character. So <laughs> I was glad I was the one that got to get them. <laughs> Um, and I, uh, yeah, that's great. I, I, had you, are you a ukulele player in real life or was that just, uh, wrong? very amateur? Uh, I got a lot of time to play it, uh, off camera. We all kind of passed it around, uh, you know, as, as a little hobby, um, on our off days. Um, but as far as I know, I think some of the, like, you know, weird off kilter noodling that you hear on it is actually what we recorded, on set there's stuff that was recorded during takes and then the sound department just recorded me messing around with it for a little bit so i'm, I'm glad I'm, as far as i know i think that made it into the movie just these aimless kind of meandering creepy ukulele themes <laughs> yeah yeah i think it was there it sounded good too i mean you sounded like you knew what you were doing so good job <laughs> just barely <laughs> <laughs> that's great and uh, I mean, you know, Zoe Kravitz behind the camera and such a wonderful cast alongside yourself. I mean, uh, was it I mean, you've been in the game for so long, you know, dating back how many years, but stepping onto the set, you know, Channing Tatum, Christian Slater, the list goes on. Was it uh, a daunting place to be with uh, so much other star power, both behind and in front of the camera? I wouldn't describe it as daunting. It was mostly just exciting because we all knew what a powerhouse cast we had. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and then people kept getting added later on. I mean, we didn't find out Christian was going to be in it until we were down there. And that was a very exciting day. And then Gina came in and then Kyle, like, all, like every time, you know, there are these characters that weren't filmed until later on in the shoot, finding out who they were going to be. It was this this great surprise. So, yeah, I, I was on the later end of when I got the script. Oh, most of the other characters had been cast. So I, you know, got to look at this email. And go, oh, wow. Like Channing, Naomi, Simon, all these people. Um, it made it uh, very easy to say yes after I read the script. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it's a it's a great story. And, you know, I love the twists and uh yeah, no spoilers, of course, but <laughs> it's a lot of fun. And, you know, people like the the sort of twisted and, you know, but it's also, you know, glossy and it's also just like very stylish, too. I mean, it's, yeah. did you did you when you were reading the script, did, were you able to sort of visualize how maybe the end result was going to look, how flashy it was all going to be. By the yeah, end. that was definitely in the style of the writing. Uh, it was a unique script in that way. And in, in the way that the stage directions read, it was very much in Zoe's voice. Um, and yeah, I mean, a lot of the needle drops that you get in this movie, she was playing on set and then it's it's so you know how hard it is with licensing for songs that you rarely get what you want and i think we pr pretty much got most of what we were actually listening to on set which was really cool you know because that really brings you back to the the filming experiences you know is the is the playlist that we had going out there you know i i can't remember whether it was actually playing out of the speaker i was holding i don't it was probably playing off some other speakers but like those were actual times when we would just be playing it off of zoe's uh zoe's playlist um so yeah that it really did come through in the script it was funny though because 
you pictured an island when you when you read the script and it was a great great thing for the atmosphere of the movie and the experience of making it that we were almost more isolated than being on an island because we were just way out in the middle of the jungle nowhere near the ocean and it really adds this kind of you know, there's glamour and luxury at this old hacienda, this hundreds of year old, you know, a building. Uh, but it also is a little claustrophobic. And when, you know, things start to get a little you know, into the thriller uh, aspect of the movie later on, you kind of feel the walls closing in a little bit, which was which was perfect. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. And yeah, it was so entertaining. So well done. <laughs> and, yeah. And and what is it? I mean, yeah, like I said, I mean, you've been acting for all these years since a young age. I mean, what does it mean to you to still be, you know, starring in these, you know, these high profile projects all these years later? It's it's uh, I feel very grateful for it because, yeah, I've been doing this for 30 years now and uh, <laughs> You know, at very different parts of my uh, times in my life. And this was a particularly fun one because it can't, I mean, th this got put together in early 2022, coming out of two of the most challenging years, you know, in, in Hollywood in a long time with the pandemic. I was very fortunate to be working uh, then too, but the, the two shows that I did during, I guess I did another film as well but everything that i shot in 2020 and 2021 was very strict covid protocols and stuff that was fun to be working on but you really didn't get a lot of interaction with your other cast members and everything because we had air gaps and masks and everybody's supposed to go away and you know stay separated when the camera wasn't rolling so this one was the first opportunity i mean we did have covid protocols on set but you know, after getting tested and everything, we were just kind of all hanging out together in the same location, which was a, you know, wonderful to to do with that group of people at any time. But it felt particularly meaningful after two years of relative isolation. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, I, I can't even imagine. I I was, you know, I'd done some like background work just on the side for kicks. And yeah, I've been through those crazy, like strict COVID protocols. Yeah. It was crazy. And then you <laughs> still get, you know, particularly in 2020, when you'd have positive tests or everybody got sent home, oh, it yeah. was very much of a roller coaster ride when there were so many questions about, you know, yeah, that was, that was a crazy time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Crazy. Um, and now, and I also wanted, you know, as you probably know, I mean, I think it's 25 years this year since the sixth sense. I mean, has that milestone hit you? Have you, been thinking about that this year at all yeah it is it you know because i remember the experience of shooting that movie so well um it doesn't seem that long ago but then thinking of everything that's happened since that movie came out i guess it i guess it really has been a quarter century so i'm really happy that it still continues to find an audience these days um, we didn't do any special events for it this time, but at the 20th anniversary night and I did a screening at Hollywood forever oh, nice. and, uh, Jordan Peele did a Q and a after, and like, it was really cool to see uh, the first time I'd seen a really long time with, you know, 1500 people out in that cemetery. It was a, a really neat experience. And a lot of them didn't know the ending and it hadn't had it spoiled for them, uh, which was kind of cool too. So yeah. yeah it, it's a very special thing to be a part of. Yeah, of course. And since then, I mean, have you stayed in touch with Bruce Willis at all or any of the cast uh, over the years? I haven't spoken to him in a while, but uh, I know his daughters a little bit. And um, in the immediate you know, years after the movie, he was very good at staying in, in touch and, you know, leave uh, uh, messages on the answering machine at, at my house and, and things like that. And, and night and I have seen each other um, over the years. I was just at his, I guess it was his 50th birthday party out in Pennsylvania a summer or two ago. So yeah, it's, it's uh, one thing that's cool about this anniversary is that we're both going to have films in the theaters at the same time uh, during August. So that's kind of fun. <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, I also, I loved your uh, episode. I mean, I know at this point it was several years ago uh, in The Boys. I'm such a fan oh, yeah. of that show. And... I love that show, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Have you been keeping up with the show? Are you up to... Oh, yeah. Yeah. And and we were, I remember particularly Levon and I in the jungle in Mexico shooting a Blink Twice uh, 
the internet was not always easy to get a, a hold of and some things would stream easier than others. And we were always really working hard to try and get, I think it was the third season of the boys keeping up with that, which was a challenge so far from, uh, from uh, being in a city. Uh, but yeah, I just watched the fourth season and I guess the fifth one's going to be the final one. So yeah, it's, that's another one where it seems like yesterday I was on set for that. That was six years ago. <laughs> yeah. <Shit that. laughs> it's crazy that they're already talking about season five. I mean, yeah. Do you, like, do you like the direction it's gone since you're up to speed? I mean, I know there's a lot of buzz and I I've, I'm always a fan of the show. I, I have no issues, but I know people, you know, sway one way or the other. And, you know, people have their thoughts about, you know, but, you know, like, oh, you know, they thought the latest season got too dark or stuff like that. But. <laughs> it's surprising to hear people say say that because I feel like it's been pretty dark from the, from the very right. beginning. Uh, I guess what's so strange and and meta about it now is that you know there's the election plot line and we're going into an election so i think that's what um you know you got some kind of funny reactions on twitter from people who may not have realized seemingly didn't realize what the direction the show has been going since right. the beginning but no i love it and it's it's a real high wire act to keep all like that giant cast and all those plot lines afloat so i think it's gonna come in i mean i i I know what happens in the comics, but I'm um, obviously it's probably not going to be exactly what happened in the comics when it comes to a con conclusion. So I'm sure there'll be a lot of surprises down the line. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I can't wait. I I am not up to speed on the comics, sadly, but uh, I'm I'm definitely gonna tune in for the show. So I'm very excited. <laughs> um, and I know I also wanted to ask. You know, I know you've been doing a lot of uh, voice work for these wonderful TV shows, and you know, I was curious. Um, how you uh how that experience is compared to you know your all your on-screen performances and uh you know if you prefer one or the other these days if you find yourself gravitating more towards like oh yeah i i like finding my groove with you know voice work or, I, don't know. Yeah. I like them both and it's it's great because I mean, voice work. I mean, voice work was another big part of the pandemic for me because I could oh, yeah. set up a little recording uh, situation at home, and I I must have done feels like <laughs> hundreds of episodes. I think we did we did Dogs in Space, we did the Ninja Turtles movie. Um, I, I did I did a ton of of that stuff during 2020, which was a really nice thing to get to do when when most work had been shut down. But yeah, it's great. You, I mean, I, it's a I've just started too recently that I don't know if I'm able to talk about at this point, because usually the lead time for animation, it probably is not going to be until at least next year until we see any of it. But I, I love doing it. And being in Southern California, you're around all those great studios, um, you know, which isn't too far from where I live. So it's a it's a nice job you can pop over and do. Uh, occasionally. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's great. Well, cool. And I also, if if you're able to, I mean, everyone loves that show Wednesday. And I know yeah. it's like you're in the upcoming season. Is there anything you can sort of preview with your your, your role or just, you know, the season in general? I, people are really excited about it. I know. And it's they they had to um, the strike, I guess, push things an entire year. So it's right. they've, they've had to wait a while for season two. I mean, I love season one, so. I'm excited to see it uh, as well. And I didn't read anything that I wasn't in for this season to preserve a lot of stuff for me, but no, I am legally not allowed to to say anything about <laughs> what I do or what that uh, uh, season is going to be like, but it was a great experience. Got to go to Ireland and work with them. It's a really great group of people. Um, they clearly bonded uh, a lot uh, for season one in Romania and yeah, getting to work with Tim Burton, who I've admired forever. I mean, that's uh, that was just a really you know, exciting experience to get to go to set and to see that man doing what he does. So yeah, it was yeah. fun. Yeah, he's such an inspiration. So yeah, <laughs> I'm yeah. jealous. That's great. That's great. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, lastly, if is there, I mean, like you know, when you were acting at such a young age, and now here you are acting, you know, years later. Is there? Do you notice a striking? Because you said you, you know, you remember acting in the Sixth Sense. I mean, is how did this? If you're, I mean, maybe it's 
tough to put into words, but do you notice a remarkable difference between acting as a young kid versus, you know, starring as an adult in all these projects is uh, like, you know, being an adult, are you just like so much more aware of different things or, you know, is the experience of acting as a kid, you know, are you blessed with, I don't know, everything just feeling that much more new or just curious if anything came to mind. Yeah, there's there's been a, a ton of technical changes that oh, yeah. stick out to me. I mean, well, yeah, when I really think about every aspect of the process, you know, there's there's just these little details and then big things like we used to shoot everything on film. I have really strong memories of, you know, checking the gate and hearing the sound of the film going through the canister. That really is different to not have anymore. Um and then just in, in terms of my age, I mean, I felt very lucky that I got exposed to so many, you know, incredible artists at a young age and got to learn a lot from them. So the really essential aspects of, you know, making movies and television and, you know, building a character and everything, those have stayed pretty constant. That's that's something that you, you know, is, is not going to get changed uh, too much by technology. And I'm, you know starting from the young age that I did, it also gives me, gives me the opportunity for it to feel fresh, you know, all the time. And I, I always have looked forward to getting older in each phase of my life because it opens up the possibilities for the characters I can play. So that's something yeah. I look forward to. Of course. Yeah, that's great. Awesome. Well, thank you, Haley. I appreciate you taking the time to chat with me. This was wonderful. And congrats again on Blink Twice. Thanks a lot, man. Good talking to you. Yeah, you too. Likewise. Take care. Take care. 